John 15 and 12, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that he lay down, Salakia, that a man lay down his life for his friends. All right, and with that, I want to say all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, double honors to the elders of GMS. Salutations so to Akin Akin, especially the truth. And the reason I read that scripture is because uh, brotherhood is a very in, important thing, but also having love for the brotherhood and the brothers that surround you, man. All right? And being sincere with them brothers. All right? And building up the brethren. All right? Because when it all comes down to it, that's all we have is the brotherhood. All right, nothing more, nothing less. All right, and this truth, which what the truth consists of the brotherhood. All right, that's why the Lord, and read that over again. This is my commandment that ye love one another. All right, as I loved you. All right, and the Lord, hey, He loved us, man. All right, greater love have no man than this, that a man live down his life. For his friends. And did not Yahweh Shai do that? For us man? He laid down his life. For his friends man. Alright. Starting with the elect. Alright. He knew he had to do that. Alright. He said. Ye are my friends. If you do whatsoever. I command you. Alright. And how do you know. Uh, uh, what the Lord. Uh want you to do it's about what through reading the scriptures man getting proper understanding through the scriptures man and and actually going through with them it says henceforth i call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what his lord doeth but i've called you friends all right and we are friends of uh yahweh bashim yahweh shot man because why we what possess this knowledge man all right and that's, that's in the scriptures, you know. Matter of fact, let me find it. I don't feel like pulling them out of the app, so I just pull up my scriptures when I got next to me. Go with me one second. Bear with me. Um, all right, let me go to Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, seven... And seven and twenty-four. I'm start from twenty-four. It says, "Oh well, I'm gonna jump to uh, twenty-seven." All right, because this scripture is talking about uh, wisdom. It says, "For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She path and she passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness." All right, and I'm gonna jump to uh, twenty-seven. And being but one, she can do all things and remain up in herself. Still talking about wisdom. All right. She maketh all things new. In all ages, enter into the holy souls. All right. He said in all ages, even now. All right. Even in this age, in all ages, entering into holy soul, she maketh them friends of the of, of God. Or what did it say? The word right there would be what? Yahweh. She maketh them friends of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shah. They am prophets. Then it says this. Read 28 too. And, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah love. Love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Alright. So you can't be a friend of the Lord. Alright. Or a friend of the Most High. If you don't possess the wisdom and his knowledge. Alright. It says, hey, right, back to uh, 15. It says, for all things that I heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Exhort the wisdom, the scriptures, man. All right, the knowledge. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And your fruit shall remain. And that whatsoever you shall ask of the father in my name, that he may give it you. 
All right, then he reiterated again in verse 16 says, these things I command you that you love one another. All right, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. All right, and that's what you seeing. These niggas that's coming up uh, uh, against us, man. These scoffers, man, they hate us, man. Because why? They really hate Yahweh Shai, all right? And they hate the brotherhood that we have, man, all right? They hate that, man. And that's why they bringing up all these false false accusations, you know, about the brotherhood, man. L lies. Niggas making videos, you know, about, about the different brothers, different apostles. And barely even know him, man. Probably only seen him once. You know? Just the elder Rakai, man, you know. I you know, he, he per when he comes towards his way, he personally comes to what? In Indiana, man. You know. And sometimes stay a week, maybe three or four days, man, you know. But hey, niggas always talking about Israel, you know, <laughs> Israel come coming together, but Really, they don't want to see Israel come together, man. Because other words, you wouldn't have a problem with us taking care of our elders and other different brothers, man. You know? Verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, because I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate of you. Remember, the world that I... So like you remember the word that I said unto you, that the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sins, they if they have kept my sins, they will keep yours also. Oh, and that's a cut within itself, but that's a, a lesson of that scripture. I'm gonna add that to a lesson I'm putting together. All right, but uh. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. And it's crazy, like like within this chapter, he's talking about people persecuting us, but also loving the brotherhood within this chapter, man, you know? Yeah, that's the spirit, man. It says, um, verse 16. Well, I mean, 21, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I have not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sins. He that hate of me, hate of my father also. And if I had not done among them the works, which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen, seen, and hate of, hate of both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, the word might be fulfilled, it is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. When you look at these guys, man, hey, they hate Great Millstone without a cause, and also other brethren, man, you know, they hate us, man. Right, but um, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna go to uh, I think it's first John 3 and 16. All right, this is uh. First John uh, three and sixteen. Hereby, hereby we perceive that the love of the Most High, or the love of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, because He laid down His life for us, we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. Which He what reiterated it again, man. You know, we gotta hey, lay down our lives for our for our brethren, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to start up. Verse 13, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you, we know that we have, we know that we have passed from the death unto life. 
All right? Because we love the brethren. And and he that loveth not his brother abideth in death. All right? So, hey, that explains that first part of that, man. If you love, and guess what? If you love your, like, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. If you love your brethren, you really love me. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right? You're not in bad, you're not abiding in death. You are you're inviting in what? In life, man. All right? That's why he said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. So what? You are, you are abiding in what? Yahweh Shah. All right? It says, whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And you see that, man. That nigga's falling out. All right? Because really, they, some of them were spies. And some of them built up hate for other brothers that was in the camp, man. And they hate brothers. All right? So they're, they're murderers, man. They're like Cain. And you know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him, man. All right, so you don't have eternal life. You're not going to make it on the first trip. All right? Hereby perceive we love Yahweh Bashim Yahushah because he laid down his life for us. All right? And we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. All right? Plain and simple. That's plain, man. I'm going to read all the way down to... Uh, you know what? I'm probably going to read all the way down to... Yeah, 24. I'm going to read all the way down. Man. But whosoever have the world's goods and see of his brother have need and shut up, up in his shut up, up in his bowels of of compassion for him, how do of love for the most high in him? All right? So you're supposed to look out for your brother. You know, and according to different testimonies and even that nigga Yakana, he talking all that shit about the elders. But the elder sent that nigga money to, to fucking move, man. Eight, nine hundred dollars, man. You know? Talking shit, man. But it's important that we be there for our brethren, man. All right? Be there for them. And no, hey, and we the only people in this world that have real brotherhood, man. You know? Hey, I can call the brother. Hey, drop drop up a dime, man. Tell him I, I need something. Or I need something done. Guess what? He'll be there. All right. I'm gonna read uh, verse eighteen. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth. And shall assure our hearts before him. But if our heart condemn us, the most high is greater than our heart and know of all things. We love if our heart condemn us not, then we have then we have confidence toward Yahweh Shai. Whatsoever we ask, we we receive of him, because we kept his commandments and do all things that are pleasing in his sight. Alright? And the one thing that's pleasing is what, man? As a matter of fact, it says, beautiful is brother, is brother, is brothers that dwell in unity, man. All right. So that's pleasing to Yahweh by Shema was shy. All right. And going on the highways and byways and keeping his law, statutes, and his commandments. Things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is the commandment that we should believe on the name. And his son, Yahweh Shamashiach, we can say it again, and love one another as he gave us his commandment. He that keepeth his, his commandments dwelleth in him. And he in him. All right. Hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. All right. I'm going to jump to. Uh, one second, I done lost my script. I have written that. Right, here they go. Jump to uh, John 13, chapter. Yep.
the uh, 34. All right, uh, John 13, 34. New commandment I give unto you, that ye, that, ye, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. This shall all men know that ye are my disciples. All right? And, and that's the thing, they mad because the brothers in Great Millstone don't don't fall into their little tactics, man. All right, because why? We hey, we love one another, man. You know, and we know what's true, and we know what's in the scriptures, man. You know. Let me read that over again. It says, "But this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye love one another." Hey, because you talk about one of us, hey, you talking about us all, man. That's why, hey, your brother, get on, hey, we, we get on you, man, you know. Brothers come, come up, and hey, you come up against one GMS member, hey, you coming up against us all, man. That's why, hey, when, it's a perfect example, when Sakari was making all them damn videos about the apostles, man, you know. Hey, man, he, hey, he got jumped on, man. Videos was, was, was done on him. You know, left and right, man. And it's, you know. But this year, all men know that ye are my disciples if ye love one another. All right? Let me jump to First uh, John 4 and 12. First John four and twelve. Oh, well, I'm jump to eleven. <laughs> but beloved, if if Yahweh so loved us, we ought we ought also to love me. We slot in. We ought also to love one another. No man have seen Yahweh at any time. If we love one another, Yahweh dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. All right. So if we love one another. Hey, our love is what perfecting me. How about you know, Sean? Um, verse thirteen. Hereby know we that we dwell in him. All right. And he in us, because he have given us his spirit. So if you love your brethren and being right towards towards your brethren. You got the spirit of what? Yeah, how about you? I was shy, man. All right. And no, and nobody can can take that from us, man. So I said I just gonna read a couple, but it's a couple, you know, of the good verses in here, man. Hold on, let me see if I can pick something out real quick. All right, this is, uh, I'm going to jump down to uh, 18. All right, it says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because the fear, because fear hath torment. And he that feareth is not made perfect in love. We, we love him because he loved us first. All right? And know what we... You no, know well, we we should love the Lord. Here we go. He promised us all these different things, man. He gave us this knowledge, man. You know. Only thing, only thing you should be doing is loving me. How about you, Amoshai? How do you love him, man? He said, "What well, if you love me, keep my commandments, man." And part of the commandments is what loving your brother, man. We love him because he loved us first. If a man say, "I love Yahweh," and hate of his brother, he is a liar. For he loveth not his brother whom whom he hath seen. So you've seen your brother, right? But you don't love him, man. You don't love a brother that's that that's 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 fighting a good fight for you, man. 
And that's why the Lord is exposing a lot of you demons, man. And you're going to love the brother that's, that's, that's right there, you know, that, that's helping you, that's rooting for you, you know, that's trying to push you, all right, keep you stable in this thing, man, all right, and you ain't never seen the most high, says, how can he love the most high who he have not seen, so he ain't even seen his Lord, man. But you saying you love him, but the brother that's 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 next to you, that's that's struggling with you, all right, that's fighting this good fight with you. You don't you don't love him, you know. That's 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 ass backwards, man. This is uh, 1 Peter 1 and 22. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth. All right? What's the truth? The word, man. All right? Word purified means to cleanse. So you're cleansing your soul with what? Obeying the truth. Obeying the word. All right? Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit with unfeigned love. Look up that word. Unfeigned. Unfeigned, right? Undiscussed, look sincere. All right, let's close that. Seeing you have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the Spirit with the unfeigned love of the brethren. Like I was saying, the word, the word for what unfeigned is what sincere love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. But the point was what you both have sincere love, man. You know, you got something in the streets that's called what? It's fake love, man. You know? Fake love. All right. Uh, got one more scripture. Wow. Uh, close it down. I'm going to pull it out the up real quick. So, you know, your brothers can still be. Looking at this right here. This is uh Tarak seven and eighteen it says change not a friend. Another uh, word for friend would be what brother. Change not a friend for any for any good. By no means it says neither a faithful brother for the glory of Ophir. So it says let me read that over again. <laughs> It says, uh, change not a friend for any good by by no means, all right? Neither a faithful brother, all right, for the glory to offer. A faithful brother will be what? First of all, a brother that's faithful to his truth, man. And if that brother is faithful to his truth, that's the attribute that what he's going to be what? Faithful to his brother or the man that's around him, man, all right? part of the truth is what dealing with the brother dealing with the brotherhood man all right but the lord would say what change change not that but you see um you know the uh different apostles you know like niggas niggas fall out of gms all, all the time man the the apostles ain't been been faithful man the niggas a, a turn on them change your friend because first of all that faith they've been faithful to the truth for, you know, 30 years plus, 25 years on, I just say 25 years and up, you know, and niggas will turn on them, you know. Scripture said, hey, let me read that, I'll read that part again. It says, neither a faithful brother from the, for the gold of Ophir, man. That's another thing, they'll sell out your brother for money, man. Go to Ophir, man. All right. So with that, I'm going to say all praises to you. How about you, I shine. Double honor to the Elders, the apostles of GMS, Shalom, man. Oh, your citation on the document.